Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to today's class we are here to do a biology class i hope everyone is doing well so before starting my class i want to introduce myself i am afrina rahman senior teacher of milestone school and college from sector 4 branch in today's cl- uh, today's class we are going to discuss some topics from chapter 4 or bioenergetics the topics that i am going to discuss is respiration stages of respiration factors affecting respiration and the importance or significance of respiration okay let's start our class before going for details information i want you to know what respiration actually is respiration if if i ask you uh, what will be the what will be your answer what is respiration i know some of you will answer that inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide is called respiration but that concept is wrong Resp- that is breathing inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide is actually breathing uh, which is a simple step of respiration but respiration is a physiochemical process where food is oxidized either in presence or absence of oxygen and the energy which is stored within the food will convert it and released as kinetic energy and heat energy alongside with we will also get carbon dioxide so let me break it down for you and make it simple so respiration is a process in which uh, food is oxidized and energy is released as a form of heat okay and we also get carbon dioxide let me uh, clear it uh, one more time like if you give example like we take different type of food and we inhale oxygen what oxygen do oxygen go inside our body it oxidizes the food that we intake and release energy by this energy we can fulfill our activities and they also produce carbon dioxide that we exhale to the environment clear okay respiration takes place in cytoplasm and mitochondria of cell now types respiration uh, is mainly two type based on the availability of oxygen either the process is uh, completing with presence or absence of oxygen based on this the respiration can be two type aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration is a process that requires oxygen and produce carbon dioxide water and large amount of energy so if you look at the reaction you can see here the glucose is the food product or food of Um, plant and so glucose is break down or oxidize in presence of oxygen and different enzymes and it is producing carbon dioxide water and energy if it express it in kilocalorie form it is 686 kilocalorie per mole but if we express it atp form it is 38 atp so generally uh, higher class animals and plant Uh, follow this respiration process which actually occurs in presence of oxygen now anaerobic respiration the respiration process that occurs in absence of oxygen and produces different type of organic compound with a small amount of energy is called anaerobic respiration why i called different type of compound because in animals it will produce lactic acid and in plants or fungi it will produce ethyl alcohol along with carbon dioxide so it can differ so anaerobic respiration mainly occurs in case of some microorganism like bacteria yeast or something now we are going to learn the uh, important topic of this chapter that is stages of aerobic respiration this question might come in your exam like describe the stages of aerobic respiration then it would be good if you give the flow chart uh, which is given in the slide and describe the whole process of respiration so i'm going to going one by one in stage 1 we can see glycolysis in glycolysis process is actually done or completed in the cytoplasm of cell in glycolysis from one mole of glucose we can get two mole of pyruvic acid <coughs> sorry along with two mole of pyruvic acid we can we get 4 atp and 2 nadh2 here atp is adenosine triphosphate and nadh2 is reduced nicotinamide adenine di nucleotide clear let me repeat it again reduced nicotinamide adenine di nucleotide okay so you will find the whole pronounce whole abbreviation in your book Uh, find it and uh, learn it or memorize it with correct spelling 
so i'm where i was i was in the glycolysis step in glycolysis we can get two mole of pyruvic acid from one mole of glucose so in uh, one mole of glucose here uh, no oxygen is required this uh, mainly glycolysis process occur both aerobic and in anaerobic respiration now stage 2 in stage 2 which is acetyl coa formation this stage also take place in the cytoplasm of the cell here from each mole of pyruvic acid we um, we can get each from each mole of pyruvic acid we get uh, two uh, acetyl uh, each acetyl coa um, and a molecule of carbon dioxide and a molecule of nadh uh, nadh2 you can see the flowchart here it is directly given so in stage 2 our acetyl coa formation we can get a acetyl coa from each mole of pyruvic acid along with this we also get nadh2 and carbon dioxide clear now stage 3 krebs cycle in krebs cycle two carbon acetyl coa uh, coa which we get from uh, earlier stage and these two uh, acetyl coa are oxidized to produce two molecule of carbon dioxide you can see the row that is given carbon dioxide in this uh, this cycle is actually named after the british uh, scientist uh, krebs or hans krebs who discovered this cycle so that's why this cycle is called krebs cycle in this stage acetyl coa enter into the mitochondria the Stage 1 and stage 2 occurs in cytoplasm. In stage 3, uh, the process enter into mitochondria. So, all the reaction of this cycle occur within mitochondria. Clear? So, uh, here we can, uh, we will get, um, uh, along with carbon dioxide, we will also get 3 NADH2, uh, 1 FADH2 and 3, uh, 1 GTP. Here, GTP is uh, guanosine triphosphate so the last stage is uh, electron transport system in this stage NADH, NADH2 and FADH2 are, uh, which is produced in above stages are oxidized and in um, ATP or uh, water electron and protons are produced this process or this energy is released electron and uh, move uh, through the electron transport system and this energy is used in the formation of ATP. The electron transport system uh, also takes place in mitochondria. So here is a chart. In this chart, you can see uh, the stages: glycolysis, acetyl CoA, and Krebs cycle, and um, the substance which is produced from these uh, stages, and uh, what will be the used substance in between the reaction, and what will be the ultimate product. Okay. So this. Um, chart is important uh, for your exam like uh, some mathematical question may come so uh, for sol uh, solution of this mathematical equation you need to learn uh, the, that what is the value of one molecule of NADH2 or one molecule of FADH2 uh, you have to learn like one molecule of NADH2 is three molecule of ATP and one molecule of GTP is one molecule of ATP so you have to learn or memorize the equation now come to the stages of anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration has two stages. The stages are incomplete oxidation of glucose and stage 2 is inco uh, incomplete reduction of pyruvic acid. Okay. In stage 1, uh, from one molecule of glucose, two molecules of pyruvic acid will be, um, will be uh, produced and four molecules of uh, ATP will be produced like that we have seen in the glycolysis step that is same but in this process the oxidation of glucose will be uh, partial or in, um, incomplete that's why this is called incomplete oxidation of glucose so in stage number two uh, with the help of enzyme in the cytoplasm and pyruvic acid in stage number two pyruvic acid is reduced to carbon dioxide and ethyl alcohol or lactic acid which is seen in anaerobic we have shown that and in this process uh, oxidative phosphorylation does not take place and because there is a no um, oxygen so in anaerobic respiration only two molecule of ATP is produced from glycolysis to glucose so here will, the new product will be 
टू ए टी पी और टू मोलिकूल ऑफ ए टी पी नाउ द फैक्टर्स एफेक्टिंग रेस्परेशन and there are certain factors which affect the rate of respiration uh, we are going to discuss one by one like the external factors of uh, which affect respiration are temperature oxygen water light and carbon dioxide what is temperature the rate of uh, respiration becomes low at uh, temperature below 20 celsius so the optimum or standard temperature for respiration is in between 20 to 45 celsius this um, value that i'm telling you um, is given in your book please um, memorize this uh, temperature because it is very much important for mcq and then oxygen in aerobic respiration a pyruvic acid is um oxidized in presence of oxygen so oxygen is very much important and water is also important because without our uh, water or uh, if the water supply is uh, less then respiration will be inhibited or reduced the rate of respiration will reduce then light light is very much important for respiration mm. um um we can all this also say that um light is very much important for phosphor uh, photosynthesis and photosynthesis is related with respiration if uh, photosynthesis interrupt uh, or food production is interrupt then respiration will not be able to burn those food so uh, light have a effect of respiration then carbon dioxide if amount of carbon dioxide is in the air is increased then rate of respiration will decrease now internal factors like food materials and enzymes age of cell in organic cells and intercellular water in these topics or these factors have some effects on the respiration rate and they are either proportional or um, they have um, either increase or decrease the rate of respiration so please learn this uh, internal factors now the last topic of today's class is significance or, or importance of respiration so we know energy is necessary for performing diff, um, every function or every physiological function of a living cell so this energy is produced by the process of respiration if we intake any food and this food is not break down or no energy is produced inside our body we cannot do any other function without energy we won't be able to do any um, we won't be able to grow we won't be able to develop or we won't be fulfill any type of activities so energy is very much important with this energy the living body move and exercise grow reproduce and perform all other physiological function so we can uh, assume that how much important respiration process is actually um respiration is actually kind of if we say in simple words respiration is actually a kind of burning process where food is oxidized to release energy and this energy help us to fulfill any activities okay okay thank you class i hope uh, the topics i discussed here will be clear to you if you have any confusion i would suggest to read the books they have given very uh, desc uh, descriptive uh, description it will be easier for you to understand mm, so all for now stay home stay safe pray for us all the best